hey guys welcome back to the channel so in today's video we're going to create some stylized rocks in maya and zbrush so for these rocks we are going to use a script in maya and i've already made a video about it a couple of years back you can check that video out and you can get that script from the link in the description of this video and that rock video so when you download that script you'll have to import it in maya so let's take a look at how we can do that so we have to go to that folder where we have that script just copy it and uh, then go to the folder where you have installed your maya so in the autodesk and uh, maya you'll see this folder scripts go here and uh, paste it and then start your maya so go to your workspace and if you are using some custom workspace you might want to change it to general and uh, here you'll see this mel section here so here you'll have to type rock gen make sure you keep the g capital and then enter and this pop-up window will appear now here are all the parameters of the numbers and type of rocks we want so if you want uh, two rocks we just have to slide this slider to the left and uh, to the right if you want more rocks in our viewport so let's try with the four and we are going to keep this uh, rock resolution to low resolution because we are going to export them to zbrush and then sculpt so they are eventually going to be very high poly so let's keep it uh, low res and uh, let's try generate and see what happens so as you can see that these rocks are far away from each other what you can do is just press ctrl z to undo and uh, just decrease the distribution radius let's keep them two and uh, now try to generate okay they are uh, too close so again increase it to four and then uh, generate okay this looks fine and you can also manually select and move them around like this and uh, here we have all these uh, types of rocks so if you go to rock type you'll have this boulder quartz or this stalemite so let's take a look at this quartz and uh, turn this number down and regenerate so this is very useful for creating some gems or some stylized uh, crystals so let's go back to our boulder and i'm going to keep my rocks free and distribution radius to five and i'm also going to scale it just a little bit so i'm going to keep the minimum scale to one and the maximum scale to three and then generate now if you want uh, some big rocks what you can do is you can increase the scale and also this height ratio increase it and you'll get some big boulders like this so i think these looks fine so i'm going to go with them so just close it and i'm just going to place this one here like this and go to front view i'm going to rotate this one and place it here like this So let's select everything and uh, I'm going to go in edit delete by type history and then we can export them. So go to export selection and I'm going to create a folder here. Rocks. Stylized. And uh, just export them as uh, FPX or OBJ. So I'm going with OBJ and uh, just name and uh, export. So we are good to go now we can close Maya and start ZBrush so I'm going to go in the ZBrush and import these assets now we are in the ZBrush so just hide this and uh, I'm going to import so go here in the import and uh, look for your mesh so select it and open 
So there's a blacksmith hammer sculpting series going on for members of this channel. So if you want to get access to that mini course, consider joining the channel and take a membership. That mini course is available for all the members of all tiers. So our stylized drop is in our tool panel. Let's uh, drag them here and uh, go to edit. And now they are here and uh, we can start sculpting. So first what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in my sub tools and I'm going to split all these rocks. So here in the split, click on this split to parts and click OK. And now we have four different sub tools. Now go to geometry and uh, let's subdivide them. So if you want to keep these hard edges, what you can do is you can turn off this smooth and then divide it. It's going to increase the points or polygons in this mesh, but it's not going to get rid of those hard edges. So if you divide it like this, it's going to increase the points. But the hard edges are still there. So let's see which one is this. So we are using this one. So go to geometry. Now I'm going to press Ctrl Z and go back to our original shape. And I'm going to turn on smooth and then subdivide it. Like this now what we can do is uh, we have to delete these uh, lower subdivisions and fix the polygon distribution of this mesh so how we can do that we can go to dynamesh and increase the resolution and then dynamesh and it's going to fix the distribution of uh, this mesh and uh, now we can turn this dynamesh off we are still on 200k polygons so we can increase them a little this much I think should be fine. So we have to repeat uh, the same process for all these three rocks and then we can start sculpting and adding more details. So I'll finish this video here and in the next part we are going to sculpt these rocks and add some details and then we export our meshes from ZBrush to Maya for unwrapping and texturing. So I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did then subscribe to the channel, like this video and uh, become a member of this channel to get access to all exclusive content. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.